There it is. Corey's a new inline three, right? Yep. Inline three, 70 pound, left handed. And uh, we're going to build this thing out. Build it right. So um, we'll have this thing bullet hole in about, hopefully, in just a few minutes. To be honest, we'll take no time. But we'll get this rest on here. And the rest is left handed, right? Yep. Uh, this is your is this your first left hand build? Yeah. Prime? Yeah, I built a um, a bear a left handed bear bow or a bear bow that was left handed. I mean, I've worked on a couple left handed bows. I mean, it's all the same. You know, uh, these things they tune easy. Do what? See everybody they take and they run these wrists for some reason like stupid close mm -hmm. and you you don't do that because they get all this interference with the shelf. Yeah. So like on all mine. I run that bad boy as far as back as possible without hitting the roller guard right here or the flexus guard. And uh, it works. So, put a level on this. Put a level there. Okay. That's going to be a good start spot. Sitting good and flat on the shelf. We don't have any kind of interference or anything. I might try to slide that thing back just a little bit more. I like to grab all the all the clearance you can get. Yeah. I see some people running things all the way in, and I don't understand why they do that. Cause it. There's a white truck here. Yeah, that's the pliers. That's wrong. Thankfully. Man, I can't wait to shoot it. I know. <clears throat> All right. There we go. We're good and level. 
it is touching it just a little bit right there, but that's just a little rubber yeah. dampener. It ain't hurt nothing. Mine's the same way. So we run it back. Right, sorry. So we, we run our rest back here where we get all the clearance. All the clearance. All right, guys, so we got the hand ski here all mounted. And what I do is I take and tie me like a, a slip knot, and I'll run this slip knot through here, through the bottom. And boom, she's good and secure. Hopefully, we got enough draft cable. It's the only thing I don't like about. Let's see here. I hate this thing to cinch you on it. It's there we go. I want that thing to cinch up good and tight. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of drive cable. And why'd they shoot this thing? Or you ought to shoot this thing a good bit. Um, I don't know how my, I don't think that my, my target itself there will stop those arrows. You'll have to shoot it at your phone block. But we'll get the side as close uh, as possible to the bag. shoot my phone block. Why? They blow through it. Oh, it does? It blows through a block. We'll see if we can get it to stop. Um, we'll see if we can go. I got a feeling that this thing is going to be a rocket ship. And we'll... Um, We'll have to find something to shoot at it. <laughs> These designs are aggravating. Booyah. All right, the rest is mounted, but we'll have to move everything once we go to tune in it. It won't be hard. So, there we go. Let's take a look, see at it. Look at and uh, like I said, I run them back. Yeah. And it is low sitting right here. That's just, I need to go ahead and move that up. I can already tell. Looking at it. I'm going to start with it flush on the bottom of the shelf there. That's normally where I start, but where we end up is, you know, we'll find out. So. Let's go tie D looping some knock servings in. Yeah. All right, so Prime, you know, they uh, they have this already right here that gives you your center. So this one here is going to knock underneath it. And I'm going to tie my knocking points here on the bottom. And then we'll peel this off and we'll put the knocking points on the top. And we'll fire this thing through paper and get her all tuned up. Yeah, that dog is aggravating. Four, five. You take your dad's get one? Yeah, um, he was like, oh heck yeah. I think dad, he's gonna wind up getting him one. And, and hopefully Ryan will, will trade that Matthews of his in on one. Yeah, I'll have a prime. We'll all be primed up. Me, you, Ryan. Jeremy, TJ, everybody, Bobby, everybody running prime. Yeah. All right. Then we get prime archery, archery shackles. That's exactly what we need is is some prime archery, archery shack. Merit YouTube. Merit YouTube. Jerseys. Jerseys. That would be badass. That would be badass with prime as the leading sponsor. That's what we need. I'm gonna, that dog has got to get out of here. She, she eats the cat food and mom gets pretty good. Got a dog. I need to change her up. Whatever you do, do not touch the on the door. No. I touched this for, for, um, for touching the door. I don't see that. You know what? 
Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, you get free strings every two years with Prime. All right, I'm gonna get this knocking point off here. Yeah, as soon as you said Quick Street Matthew when you called me. Yeah. I had all six in the group. Really? Like this at twenty. Oh. Uh, I was like, okay. Yeah, well, when I messaged him and he was like, yeah, I'll trade, I was like, oh, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, I don't know why they crimp them so tight. You can't leave them because they'll slide on you. Sometimes you get lucky and they don't put them on real, real tight. The key is, is to get them off without messing up center serving. They really need a pair of pliers that'll open them up. Come on, baby. Come on off there. I'm gonna get this off and get this tied up. The loop time. You better draw this thing back. Well, we'll put the draw length to your um, to your specifications. I need to look at the chart and see which corresponding number is for your draw length. Number six. Number six. And that is for a... Okay. Uh, what are you at? Shoot down. This thing's gonna draw heavy. I guarantee you. This thing's gonna be fast too. I'm surprised he didn't give you one of them camouflage hats. I want black. Oh, you did? Boy, those camo ones are nice. Man, I don't like black. They? I don't know. That was the, that was a selling point for me. I wanted a camouflage hat and I ended up getting a bow too. Where's them flyers? There they are. Yep. Yeah, I thought that I lost them. Right, right at them. I bought my wrist release too. Did you? Well, which release do you plan on shooting with? Well, I'll do the uh, thumb. If you're going to do it with a thumb, we need to set the, we need to set up the, uh, yeah, in your peep and all that for a thumb. So there we are, guys. We're about to fire this thing through some paper. Should be close. Should be. All right, before we shoot this thing, we're gonna change the draw length to, you said that's six modules for you? Yes. Or 28. All right, now these are hex heads. Let me double check, double check chart. Okay. It's in the book right there. Uh -oh. Never double check. Yeah, yeah, double check that thing. I think it says six for 28. All right. Yep. Oh yeah, good. I hate that they put them star bits in there, but yeah, it works. You just gotta be real careful. You can use an Allen wrench. You just gotta be careful with it. Yep. If you don't. That's the only obsession it is. Really? Yeah, they're all star bits. I, I mean, I, I don't. Everything is star bits. All but the like, I don't mind them, but I don't prefer them. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, yeah. Uh, we gotta rotate this thing back to six. Wait a minute. I'm gonna do it good and carefully. There we go. Three, four, five. 
and six. So we're on the six mark there, six mark here. Once we, um, we, we'll shoot through paper a couple times mm -hmm. and just make sure that you feel comfortable. Then we'll put the peep in it. Um, hopefully this thing tunes up really easy. Um, it should. Well, yeah. Well, all of my primes and every prime I've ever shot is tuned almost on the first try. But I've done something a little different with this one, a little different way. So, all right, so if you're gonna do this side, this is extremely critical. If you leave this out, you will bow, you will almost, well, you can blow the bow up. That's a cam stuff, ain't it? Yeah, and um, I drew one back and forgot. I actually put the cam stop in it. Ooh. And luckily the bow went off. I had an arrow in it. That's why you always pull bow back with air. Yep. And um, that arrow, Stuck in the wall. All right, I'm gonna have to find an Allen wrench that'll fit that. It's tight. So I'm gonna strip it. I need some forks bits. I think I might have some. I had some torque bits. Where, where, where did your wife go? She's with her friend. Oh. She had a friend come pick her up. Oh, nice. I gotta find. Come on, Rich. Hey, Jason, watch you. I hate not having the right tool for the job. You don't have to come get a problem. There you go. All right, guys. So whoever at Prime tightened this thing for a billion foot pounds, thank you for that. Jeez, that's that's unbelievable. I don't know. I'm supposed to be using star bits, but you can use now if you're careful. I was mill right for ten years, so I know how to work the tools. Take these screws all the way out, okay? Let's see, yeah. Yeah. Number six. I'm so excited. <laughs> I got so drunk last night. I was sitting in my desk chair and fell backwards. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't really, I don't know how I got so drunk, but I, I mean, I, Somehow I drank a damn 12 pack in like an hour. Damn. I don't even know how. I was working on that stupid. I've been trying to hack this MacBook going on for two days straight now, right? Yeah. And I finally got a breakthrough on it, and I'm like, God, I've got it, you know? Unlike having the correct Allen wrenches here. And, um, turns out, uh, when I had it, when I finally got it, I was what I'm trying to do is update Monterey to uh, the newest operating software on an old computer. I got it all working, and then once I went to save it to the drive, it crashed. And now it's stuck in a boot loop, and I've been working on it for ever. All right. All right, so Corey is about to take the first shot. Now we need to double check everything. Let's, uh, let's, do, a, let's do a complete look over the bow. Fully fire this thing off and make sure we got everything's tight, everything's good. 
make sure the cam module draw stops in it. And uh, after we we get it rough tuned, whatever, yeah. then we'll put the uh, the side the side on it and everything. We'll fire it through paper again and just double, you know, double check it. But just get it back there to where you anchor, get yeah. comfortable, and just let off of a shot, you know, pretty smooth, and we'll see how it turns out. This is going to be a nice long video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to put it like a um, full prime inline three build, like full unedited. Oh, that feels amazing. I bet. I bet. Running that conquest ball. You, you hunt with that bow. Mm -hmm. I would. I plan on it. God might. I might. I might have to find me a dang guy. I plan on it. Yep, make sure everything looks good. All the screws are in it. You ain't nervous, are you? Touch him. I got to touch the trigger wheels. Yeah. Get out. Atta boy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Jitsy. No, girl. I know it's hot, but. How's that feel? God, that looks good. Okay, that's all right. That thing felt good. Holy crap! I bet. I felt comfortable as crap. Yeah, you look good. Let me see what I need to do to fix that. No, just stay right here. I am bring our clothes to get full. I'm sorry. Let me look real quick. That might be a knock low. So I'm gonna tune this thing now. How'd that first shot feel? So good. Shoot that thing one more time. So what can we do, Daddy? Let me get the air out of here. Right here. And I'm gonna look at the tune. That thing was screaming. Oh yeah. Then I'm gonna look at the, uh, the tuning chart. Who did everything where it wants to be? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to move that rest down lower. Or I might have to move the dealing but which is fine either way. It's just, they, these things are funny what they want. But once you get them, they're good, you know. I think that is. Yep, okay. We'll just fix that right now. So that heat loop is going to have to go to the other side of that knot. So your air is going to be sitting in the bow like mine is. I'll show you here in a minute. Come on, get this thing tangled a little bit. Yeah, but that's fine. We're just preliminary. In. Take two, move the knocking point up. Uh, so a little brass. I put the air. I actually set it underneath it. Need to be on top. So I read the manual. It says the knocking point is two inches above the center line of the bow, which the center line on prime is right here at the wrist. So it should be close. Oh yeah. All right. So our our, our up and down is perfect now. Yeah. Now I just need to uh, move the rest, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think how to do that because it's left-handed, and and I've gotta, I gotta see. Um, so you're up now, it's good. So now I should bring it over. I need to let me look at mine because I'm just gonna try to set it up about the same spot as mine. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I have to like think in reverse. With the um, with the whole left handed thing, so so our up and down's good. So that's it's good. We'll try that. Yeah, we might have to go back the other way, but yeah. we'll know here in a minute. That's just, I gotta, I know it probably don't make a difference, or, you know, being right or left handed, but yeah. I know like on mine, to get that hair out, I'll move it off the riser. But I'm having like, <laughs> think in reverse, you know what I mean? But we'll get it. That's it. 
That's a bullet hole in three shots. Yeah. In three shots. Or f how, many, how many times we shot it? That's three. One, two, three, four. So now we'll, well, we can crisp. That, that's actually really good. We can crisp that up more, but now we need to weight the bow down. We need to get the, the scope on there. Mm -hmm. And then you need to shoot this thing a good bit too to let everything break in. You know, the string settle. And then like... In a week or two, we'll shoot the paper again. Yep. Once you know, once yeah, you get about five, down. six, yeah, let, let the string and everything settle. Cause uh, that's how I do it. And then once we get all perfect, it'll be uh, it'll be set for life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Let's get this scope mounted on here. Holy dog, Andy. Yeah. So I just actually set that thing up. The wrist, the exact same specs as how my wrist is. I'd seen, and it. This thing felt amazing. I wish I could shoot it. I just don't know if I can pull something back left-handed. And I don't want to blow it up. Uh, I feel a whole lot more comfortable. You look better with it. Yeah. Like, you look good. Uh, oh, we need to do a peep sight. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be a whole nother uh, adventure here. But we need to put the sight on it first. Yep. Yeah, that way we can get everything. Um, <clears throat> we can let you look through it and get comfortable. So, this is going to be a hell of a long video. I should have just went live and done it live. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm not going to film this part putting the spot hard together because I have a video yeah. that I done last week of it. So, if you want to know how to put a spot hog together and all that jazz um, and how to sight one in, it's on my other channel. So, I'm going to um, stop the video right here for a little bit. We'll listen to some music. I'm gonna let Corey put his side together. And, oh, this thing is sexy. Mm -hmm. We'll be back when we do the peep sites. All right, so, um, Spot Hog has screwed us. They did not send us the bolt to mount the scope on. So we're having to rob one of mine, unfortunately. We'll just sit down up there on the table, that scope. So we're going to rob mine just to get the boat set up, and then I'll have to find a boat. That's crazy. Absolute insanity. Why would they not send boats? So I dare how that thing mounts. Double check mode. Yeah, that's on the outside just like that. Yeah. Yeah, I just have to double check it. Wow. Oh, there's nuts. Gone. Yeah. And then hang this back up. Yeah. If I was to organize all my outer inches one of these days, <laughs> or keep them in the bank, I don't know which one is where. You know what? Mm -hmm. I understand that. Yeah. Was there not another washer? Does mine have washers on them? I don't think so. I think I actually picked that washer up. Which one do you know? These ones. One these? Yeah. No, there's no washer. Okay, I didn't think so. Somehow I collected a washer on this one. It ain't hurt none, but I won't take it off. Let's see. Don't need it. Dang. I was. Can't believe. Bug hog. Done us like that. We're lucky. Who'd you buy this from? Salute? Mm -hmm. I'd call them and ask them if they can get you another screw. Yeah. Because what you can do is you can, well, you, can get, you can get everything set up and I'll just take my screw back. Yeah. And maybe they have one there. Maybe you call them. 
peak sight time. Yeah, just remember, don't fire it. <laughs> and let's get where you're perfectly anchored. Uh, you look, uh, you, uh, put your string like right on the tip. Well, yeah, yeah, right there. Uh, you need don't to go. touch it. Yeah. Do you not need to touch the peak. Don't touch it. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Yes. Yeah, you're, it actually looks real straight on your head. So I'll, I'll, I'll tie that sucker in. Oh yeah, I know. Damn! Ooh! <laughs> it looked good, your hand was good straight. Do not touch the peak. That was perfect. Don't touch the peak. Okay. You know that fucker on the money. <laughs> don't, don't mess yeah, I'll bet you, if you measure that, that's six and a half inches. I bet. There you go. Oh yeah, that peak rotation's perfect. You look comfortable. Which hole is that? Jesus Christ. Let me, I might have shot the same hole. I think you might have. I think I did. That sucker looked good. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that too. Because we'll find something to shoot at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that'll be fun. We can do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll put some twist in the string to fix that. But I just want to go ahead and let it do what the hell it's going to do. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, I'll fix that here in just a second. That's just where we put the peep in it. It'll, it'll put a little twist in the string. We'll fire it a couple times at the cell. And yeah, it just swings off a good slow shot. Okay, we got a little bit of a tear, but we can work. We can work through that. That ain't bad. Yeah. I mean, it's still got to break in. Now that it's weighted down, you know, everything's, everything's changed too. I'm gonna fix this rotation, then we'll fix that tear. Nice. Okay, uh, so I went, well, you look good. Okay. I see the see which one I need to move. We're gonna try a couple things. <clears throat> Mine's moved way over uh, to get it to tune, but that's just—I mean, that's just how some moves form. You know what I mean? That's about where mine's at. But I actually have to move the other way. But we'll see. Since it's left-handed, I just gotta. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. We'll see how that looks because they're all a little different. Dang thing looks like it shoots good. This one bitch feels fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. I forgot looking. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, so just to make a quick little note. Um, I just kind of took a rough measurement and just, I set his up exactly like mine. And uh, that is a crisp bullet hole, which we had it bullet holing earlier, but once we weighted the bow down, got everything on there and got the peep side in it, it you know, it changes. Shoot ya. Yeah. New in line three. New yeah. in line three, set up, done, tuned. Yep. Perfect. And I watched this, when, mm, better not, and I was gonna say, well, shoot one of my 350s that, was that a, oh, that was my foot. Yeah. I was gonna say, we shoot one of my other ones to it, but I'm afraid, that thing's putting some power out. I'd be afraid it'd break it. Nice. Corey is going to be deadly. Mm. That bullet hole, son, crisp. Oh yeah, this thing is. Better than last. Yeah, better than that stupid Matthews. <laughs> it, it didn't take nothing. We didn't fight nothing, and it's left-handed. I had to. We just missed, just missed the one bolt hole. This one. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah, some bull crap. So it didn't come with the bolt. No. No. For three hundred and what fifty bucks, and didn't come with a damn bolt. Mine was missing. Three hundred nineteen dollars. Three hundred nineteen. Yeah, mine was missing bolts when I bought mine from the Ultra Shake. I mean, it ain't Jeremy's fault or, or Saluda's fault. It's just. It's Boggs' fault. Yeah, it's Boggs' fault. Yeah, I was missing um, one of these bolts on mine. Yeah.